hope this bow doesn't look super dumb. I just thought it was kind of cute and like my shirt was not cute. So I tried to make it cute with the bow and now I just don't know if I look like weird. I probably look weird. It moves when I move. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe and I'm talking about the books that I got from a nice little thrifty thrift a bookstore. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I got a bunch of books from the used bookstore last weekend and I wanted to share with you guys what I got. So a couple weeks ago I posted a video unhauling like 45 plus books and I said I was gonna go ahead and bring them to a used bookstore called McKay's in Nashville, Tennessee and hopefully get some in-store credit so I could buy other books and you guys, your girl did so good. <laughs> so I ended up bringing in like all of those books that I listed. And then I also had brought in a few DVDs that my husband and I didn't want anymore. I ended up getting $168 back in in-store credit. I could not believe it. I think the highest I ever got there once was maybe like $70, which I felt pretty good about. $168 in in-store credit at my favorite used bookstore was a dream come true. I felt like I won the lottery. He told me what I what I made and I was like, what? I was with my friend and I'm like, did you just hear what I heard? Like, it was awesome. I was so happy. So I didn't spend all of the $168. I did find some really solid books that I'm really excited to have in my possession. I had an amazing time Time with my friends in Nashville. We had taken our entire book club. So it was myself and then five other girls in the book club that we have here. And it was such a fun time. We specifically went to go to this bookstore, but we also had a really fun like girls night sleepover, which I'm like 27 years old. So having like a girls night sleepover where we painted our nails and did face masks was the best thing ever. I cannot remember the last time I've actually done that. It was so much fun. I was going to vlog the whole time and then I ended up not, but here's a couple clips of when we were in the Airbnb. Yay, we're leaving. Oh, Yay. Like, Everyone is so like, excited. Oh, really sorry, talking about onions. Oh, that's okay. Onions. We're here. We made it. Our Airbnb is so cute and it's getting warmer and we just ordered sushi and we have snacks and we have nail polish stuff. We're gonna do our nails later and so far so good. Just want to show you guys our super cute Airbnb. There I am. But this bathroom is adorable. I love that tile. There's two bedrooms that are like really cute too. We're gonna share rooms. There's that. And here, another bedroom. Pretty like minimal, but pretty cute. The kitchen is to die for. I think this is mine, y'all. That's what Boxy thing is like. Do you get two filled up here or something? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no. Wait, guys, do crawfishes look like that? I think that's <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what I'll say. No, I'll say everyone's at least a little bit gay. <laughs> <laughs> you should put some of that. You've done one. It feels so weird. Without the mask, I just put it on my face. Do you see it? Ready, set, go. Oh my god. Set, go. Oh. oh <laughs> She's going to be right. Oh. She's stronger than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this Where is impressive. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my What is happening to your wrist? Keep your wrist strong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like I said, we had an amazing time, but I want to go ahead and show you guys all the books that I got from McKay's. In total, I got about eight books, which is actually probably one of the lowest amount of books I've gotten from a McKay's haul. We also went on a Saturday and it tends to be busy and crowded and pretty picked over on Saturdays, but I still got some really good ones. So I'll stop talking about it and I'll just show you guys. Let me just start with some of the books that I already have read, but I didn't have the physical copy of in my possession that I'm really excited to have now. So 
one of the books that I have already listened to on audiobook but I haven't bought the physical copy yet is Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake. I got this for like eight dollars. Ah! I was so happy to pick this up. This series is amazing. I am very picky with my fantasy series and I love this one. I still have yet to read the most recent book but I'm super excited to put this on my shelf to hopefully get the rest of the copies. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys probably already know a lot about this series but it follows three sisters who were all born at the same time and they're basically all fighting to become queen. It's so good. The world building is amazing. The first one is like a little slow to get going but once you get going it's so hard to stop. I absolutely love this series and I'm super excited to have it on my shelf. The next book that I have already read but absolutely adore, it's one of my favorite books of all time, is The Loneliest Girl in the Universe. I'm super happy because I did not find this book. One of my friends that was with me actually had this book in her cart and she was like, oh, I found it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you did. That's amazing. She's like, yeah, the hardcover copy. And I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. I only have the UK softcover edition and I really wanted the hardcover edition. And she so graciously let me get this one. And I am forever grateful to now have both editions in my possession. Again, like I said, this is one of my favorite books of all time. And when it's one of my favorite books of all time, I really like to have multiple copies. The softcover one is so beautiful. Let me show you. So stunning. It's like her. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. But it got a little ruined from my cats and it made me really sad. And so I'm just really excited to have this hardback edition. And now it just really makes me want to reread the book. This follows a main character who is a teenage girl and she's on this spaceship alone. And she's, I think like 16 and has been on the spaceship alone since she was a kid. And I don't want to talk too much more about it. I highly recommend going into this book without any preconceived notions, just knowing that it's about a girl who's on a spaceship by herself. It's so good. I loved it. I know a lot of people don't seriously love this book, but there's something about it that really resonated with me. I'm really happy to have this one. So those are two of the books that I got that I've already read. The rest of the books are all books that I have not yet read, that I've heard really good things about, and that I'm super excited to pick up very soon. One of them is Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. You guys, I got this book for like $2.50. It's a little busted up right here, but I'm pretty excited about this one. This has been super talked about, super well loved in the book community. For that reason, I'm really excited. I didn't realize that it was like historical fiction, so I'm a little nervous, but I know so many people who love this book. One of my friends in book club also super loves this book and she really likes like high fantasy stuff. So the fact that she really likes this one encourages me to read it. I don't know a lot about it. I just know that it's about a circus and there's things happening. I'm just here for that. I really like books with circusy themes. I haven't read one since Caravel and I hated that book. So I'm hoping that this is nothing like that. <laughs> oh shoot, I totally forgot about one of the books that I got that I don't own the physical copy of. So I have read this book as well, my bad. And I love this book. It was one of my favorite reads of 2018 and that was Little Monsters by Kara Thomas. Oh, I'm so excited to have the hardcover in my possession. I have been like wanting to buy this for myself for so long, but because I listened to it on audiobook and I already had the story, I just could never justify like buying it just to throw it on my shelf. But it was like, what, $6? And with my in-store credit, I snatched this up so fast. This is a really fun YA mystery thriller, which I'm very picky about because normally YA mystery thrillers are just not that scary. They're not that creative in my opinion. This one doesn't disappoint. I think this is an amazing YA mystery thriller. Highly recommend if you're looking for a good one that's not like terrifying. This is so good and I'm super excited to pop that one on my shelf as well. So when I usually go to McKay's, I come home with a lot of YA books, middle grade books, a lot of books that I read as a kid. I think I just get super excited about like the YA section and I totally ignore the other sections of the bookstore. But this time I really focused on the mystery thriller section and it did not disappoint. So the rest of the books are all mystery thrillers that I'm super excited to pick up. One of them is The Window by Amelia Burnskill. I have not heard a lot of people talk about this. I think it came out last year. I'm not positive on that. I don't know a lot about it, but it's been in my Amazon cart for a long time. So I know I really wanted it at some point. <laughs> the back is super creepy. It says secrets have a way of getting out. And like, this is like a little window and there's a person in the window and it's just so creepy. Okay, so there's like identical twins. They're the opposite of one another. They tell each other everything or so she thought. <gasps> one of them falls to her death outside of the window. What's happening? It's a mystery, maybe a thriller. I'm here for it. I'm excited to pick this one up very soon. I'm trying to think when this one came out because I feel like this is like a brand new. Okay, copyright 2018. So this is like a super new book and that is The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. And 
and I have never read anything by this author, but I believe that Books and Lala read this. She has really good mystery thriller recommendations. I'll link her channel below. And she read this for, I think, the Buzzwordathon. Maybe it was the Buddy Read. I can't remember. But I think I've heard good things. And I saw it and I was like, ooh, that one sounds intriguing. A young woman returns to her childhood summer camp to uncover the truth about a tragedy that happened 15 years ago. That sounds good to me. That's literally all I need to know. It looks awesome. It was blurbed by AJ Finn, who wrote The Woman in the Window, breathtaking, brightly written, scalpel sharp, and altogether inspired. <laughs> okay, I have two more. Here's another one. I think this one came out this year. Okay, let me see. This one was a little bit more expensive. I want to say that this one was like maybe 10 or 12 bucks. I should have kept the price tags on them. I'll make sure and do that next time. Come on. When were you published? 2019. This book is like brand stinking new and I got it for a pretty good price and that is No Exit. This is by Taylor Adams. Again, blurbed by AJ Finn. I just am obsessed with AJ Finn and I'm ready for another AJ Finn book because I love The Woman in the Window. So AJ Finn said, what a box of tricks. This full throttle thriller, dark and driving, rivals Agatha Christie for sheer ingenuity and James Patterson for flat out speed. Swift, sharp, and relentless. I'm excited. I love mystery thrillers that are like guns blazing, full speed ahead, awesome, amazing pace. A determined young woman must unmask and outwit a vicious psychopath in this tense and clever tale of suspense. I just love mystery thrillers so much. It's like easily becoming my new favorite genre. I'm obsessed. Oh my goodness. Something about a crazy blizzard. She's on the road. She's in Utah and she's stuck with strangers in a highway rest stop with no cell phone reception. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that sounds so scary. And she sees in the back of a van parked next to her car is a little girl locked in an animal crate. Oh snap, oh snap. I'm really excited to read this one. I want to read it right now. Why did I pick this? I need to read this. Okay, and the last book that I got that I did start reading last night is Roanoke Girls. I think that's how you say it. The Roanoke Girls by Amy Engel. And I don't know a lot about this book. I watched someone's like wrap up video and they talked about this and they said it was like super twisted, a little bit messed up, mystery thriller. I like those books. I'm weird. I know. Something about just like a lot of family secrets it sounds like. There's two younger girls. The girl's mom in like the very beginning commits suicide so she has to go live with her grandparents and her cousin who's like the same age as her and it's like small town weird family secrets that's all I know I just heard that it was like dark and twisty and I like those books so I definitely snatched this one up I was very excited this one is like really expensive on Amazon it's like $27 or 17 it's like something really expensive where like I draw the line <laughs> of buying books that much money so I think I snatched this for like eight bucks Yes! I'm so excited. I got so many books. I like want to go back to McKay's every single day. If I lived near McKay's, I probably would go every weekend. Like it's so addicting because just the prices are great and the fact that you could get in-store credit, I just love it. I think they have three locations. So if you live near one, I just highly recommend. It's like a warehouse full of books. I wish they had places like that everywhere. I think that there's other places called like half price books where you can do that and stuff, but this is the best place ever. I'm obsessed with it. Anyway, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I'm sorry it was a little meh. I had a really good time at McKay's and I think I spent like about $70. So I had about $90 left over in in-store credit. So I can't wait to go back. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.